गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड आई एम मीनाक्षी शर्मा योर इंग्लिश टीचर एंड आई एम वेटिंग फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स टू ज्वाइन द क्लास टूडे एज वी आर हैविंग अ लाइव सेशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पोएम द फोटोग्राफ द ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ इट हैज बीन सेंट इन द प्रीवियस सेशन in today's live class we will rediscuss the poem the photograph the poem photograph by shelley tolson so this poem as it is defined with the name it is about a photograph usually you see when you capture some memories and when you are sitting at your home and you feel like that yes i should uh, just re Uh, i should just revise my memories so you open your phone sometimes you have clicked photograph you have albums available at home you open those albums and just recall all your past memories this is how this lesson a photograph also denotes like shelly tolson who is poetess she one day saw a photograph of her mother how she feel about her old moments that she had spent with her mother so that makes her that makes her insisted or that makes her uh, that makes her little uh, anxious to write a poem so she write a poem to share her nostalgic moment i saw one child has joined thank you so much khushi i hope in the same manner all the students will join the class and definitely it is going to be a fun for all of us because we are going to explain each and everything and with the live session we can discuss about the doubts that we have you can put up your uh, questions your uh, doubts in the comment section so that we will clear it side by side let's continue what are we going to do in today's class as i had been saying the photograph by shelly tolson she wrote a poem when she found nostalgic moment reminding her mother that made her write a poem a photograph what are we going to discuss in today's session i have written brief of it let's discuss in today's uh, list today's poem the highlights we are going to discuss is we will read the poem we'll explain summary we'll give a glance at important lines like which are the important lines in the poem as well as we'll discuss the poetic devices or we call it figure of speech and what other figure of speeches have been used in the poem to make it beautiful so i request all of you to open your book hornbill this is your main book hornbill please open this hornbill and open page number 11 of this book please open page number 11 of this book so if you have opened already since the message was given 5 minutes before the class i hope that you all must have opened the book and page number 11 so without waiting let's read our poem a photograph by shelly tolson the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hand and she the big girl some 12 years or so all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the sea which appears to have changed less washed their terrible transient feet some 20 30 years later she'd laugh at the snapshot see betty and dolly she'd say and look how they dressed us for the beach the sea holiday was her past mine uh, is her laughter both re 
with the labored ease of loss now she has been nearly dead nearly as many years as that girl lived all the circumstances there is nothing to say at all it's silence silences so this is how this poem is written shelly tolson was a writer a poetess and author who wrote about the nostalgic moment of losing her mother when it happened to see the picture of her mother when her mother was a child although she had shared all these uh, all these memories when her mother was alive but sooner after the years when she again looked at the photograph of her mother and she feels the sadness the separation and she feels pain of it so in the first paragraph the cardboard shows me how it was means when she look at the cardboard why she is not using a word photograph it's because she is using a word cardboard as you understand by the word cardboard it means the photo is pasted on a cardboard it is not well framed the cardboard shows me how it was then she looks at the photo pasted on a cardboard she again she put the reader into action saying show me how it was when two girl cousins went paddling when the cousins two girls cousins are paddling means walking barely with the poet's mother each one holding one of my mother's hand and those two girls who are walking along poet's mother they are holding the hands of the poet's mother and she the big girl who is the she who is she here she is poet's mother poet's mother is she and she is eldest among two other girls and she the big girl some 12 years or so here the poet is is telling the estimated age of mother which is around 12 years her mother is the eldest whose age is 12 years are walking on they are walking near the sea shore and all and 12 years or so all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera and what have they, what have been captured all three means those two girls two girl cousins as well as the poet's mother all three of them are standing to getting a photo clicked by their uncle some 12 years or so and all three stood still and they are smiling through their hair means their hairs are falling on their face yeah, since they are at the sea shore and the air and the breeze have covered their face their hairs are covered with their hair and they are smiling and the uncle who is with them is clicking their photograph a sweet face my mother's now the poet says her mother as a her mother has a very sweet face when she was a child my mother's face my mother's that was before i was born she is saying my mother's face looks so beautiful when my mother like poet's mother my mother here is poet's mother when poet's mother was a child and it was the sweet face before the poet herself was born and the sea which appears to have changed less and the sea now in these two lines in first few paragraphs the poetess is sharing the golden memories of her mother how she used to look like when she was 12 years old and how she is happy spending her holidays and getting a photo clicked with a smile and hair on the face with her cousins in the last two lines when you read it and the sea which appears to have changed less wash their terrible transient feet in last two lines 
here the poetess is making comments she is explaining what is she explaining she is explaining how the time is changed and the sea now here she is saying the sea where the photo had been placed which appears to have changed less it means she is making a comparison between a human life and nature and the sea which appears to have changed less means the sea after years the sea is as it is there is no there is very less changes in the sea but what is changed has changed less wash their terrible transient feet but what has it done the very feet of the mother has been changed so here the word transient means the momentary feet which were imprinted on the sand near the sea has been washed away by the sea now those free footprints are not there what is left only the sea which has not changed whereas the human life has changed the mother when when she imprinted her feet on the sand near the sea has been washed away as well as here the poetess is comparing human life with that of nature she says that nature change slowly it doesn't change much but human grow uh, they they, they it's, here she is also talking about different levels of ages like when the child was small she became elder she become adult old and at the last every person has to die so that is why she is making these two lines can be taken as annotation she is making comments she is making explanations sharing those memories saying that sea is not yet changed but what has changed is the human life from birth till the death good morning hetal some 20 30 years later she laughed at the snapshot i am reading the second paragraph please concentrate on it some 20 30 years later she laughed at the snapshot now the poet says after like the, the, at the time when photo was clicked from that period to when after 20 30 years means when the this girl means mother poet's mother will become older or she will become 30, 20 or 30 years of age she will look at this snapshot means a photo taken she will look at that snapshot see betty and dolly sheet say and what will she, she say looking at the memories clicked in the photograph that she will say that she, look betty and dolly who are betty and dolly these are cousins girls cousins of white's mother so her mother after 20 30 years when she will look at the snapshot what she will say she would say that see betty and dolly the cousins and look how they dressed us for beach and she will talk about her parents who have dressed them for the beach that day and the sea was her past and mine is her laughter in the last two lines again these are the nostalgic or the um, sad mood of the poet she says the sea was her past means when she went to spend her holidays at the seashore or at the sea beach it was her past when she can look and remember it mine is her laughter and i am i am daughter and i am her present and mine is her laughter and i am her happy moment of her life being a girl being a woman both read with labored ease of loss again in the last line she annotate or she comments and we can say she explains with the labored ease of loss here this word means they are feeling hard as well as ease and both of them are sharing the loss what loss she is sharing losing her mother and the uh, the sensation of missing her mother both three with labored ease of loss like they have the life has defeated her mother to death and the moment she remembers her gives her pain 
in the next paragraph now she's been dead nearly as many years as the that girl lived in the last line last paragraph please concentrate on last i hope that you are understanding it can i have a yes from students now she been nearly as many as years as that girl lived here in the last line the poet says she is she is been dead in the last line she is saying that her mother is no more her mother is dead she the poet the poetess has lost her mother she is been dead nearly as many as years as that girl lived being a girl she will always be in the remember as of in as of in the photograph but that girl or her, the poet's mother has been dead years ago and this circumstances there is nothing to say at all again in the last two lines the poetess become very sad and says and these circumstances and the, the situation that has been arisen there is nothing to say at all she has nothing to say except sharing that she misses, misses her mother <coughs> i'm sorry and in the last line she closes the poem saying it silence silences means the death here the silence is for denoting as a death and silence has been personified has been taken as a person has been compared as a person so it silence silences means the death of her mother has also made her silent she has nothing else to share except sharing the sadness of missing her mother so this is how she is missing her mother and sharing the moments of her mother when she went for a sea holiday and they are getting a photo clicked and that old photo has been pasted on a cardboard with the children and uh, at last she says that things change less but human life changes very fastly whereas she took example of a sea where she says sea has appeared to change less means the sea has not yet changed but the human life the human cycle changes very often and it is it is for everyone and in the second paragraph she misses her mother and she says when her mother will grow up she will discuss how the cousins betty and dolly been dressed up by the mother for the for the sea holiday they these these are the memorizing moments which has been captured which the author which the poet was look watching of the which the poet was looking at the photograph came into her mind and it made her writing this poem to share the nostalgic moment although shelley tolson is known for her naturalistic poems of 18th and 19th century she was an british poet author who wrote many uh, poems about nature so here she has discussed about her so about her incident when she looks at the photograph of her mother and she realizes the pain of getting separated from her mother begin here let's discuss as we have done the first part we have already read the poem i have also explained the summary now the point is a glance at important lines now we will underline the important points what are the important points here now important points are the cardboard shows me how it was the very first line of this poem why it is important because the cardboard except using a word a photograph poet is, is using a word a cardboard cardboard means a framed cardboard where the photo has been pasted which is not been framed properly then there is another line and the sea 
appears which appears to have changed less wash their terrible transient feet you can also underline this line because here she is comparing two different things nature and human life then in second paragraph the last line was her past mine is her laughter this line also says about past and present means the past means when her mother was a young girl of nearly 12 years and when she grew up and became mother of that of that poet and the last line both read with labored ease of loss this line is also important because here she is feeling very hard and also feeling it like uh, she is also feeling ease also to sep getting separated so she it is very hard for her to lose her her old memories as such and give her labored ease means she feels pain also when she remember those memories then in third paragraph the last line and this circumstances there is nothing to say at all and in the last paragraph she is saying that and all of this circumstances there is nothing to say at all means in last when she can not she could not get courage to write anything except feeling very bad in mood she she tries to hide all her emotions saying except that one can understand the importance of people in life and at the last line very important it silence silences here silence have been compared as the human quality silence means here is death so death has silent the mother's death has silent the emotions or the less nostalgic emotions of the poet okay so these are important lines so uh, we can also call this poem as a biblio uh, bibliography what is bibliography bibliography is a list of citations means the way it is written put together when the intentions or or the thoughts provoking in the mind put together in topic of interest is called bibliography it means suppose i uh, look at any past memories of uh, my uh, close relative or somebody who is so close to my heart if i memorize him or i remember uh, looking his things maybe a photograph maybe their clothes maybe uh, any of the other things that make me insisted to write something about uh, in the remembrance of that man of that person that is that Uh, i beautifully write it in my own words i use some kind of um, uh, different words with having a different meanings that shows the creativity of work right so basically bibliography is uh, this is the word technically used for those who are poets who are narrators and authors who write very uh, very interestingly adding the new words and new phrases so this is how uh, and they write it basically on the interest of their things as i said that this uh, like a photograph written by shelly dolson she is sharing about her interest looking at a photograph and that made her insisted to write all about the photograph memories and has been compared those memories with how the time and um, see and taking some different examples clearing the thoughts and to the reader so it it can be it can said to be a bibliography kind of uh, poem and will as well as uh, we will discuss what other poetic devices have been used this this uh, if somebody ask you uh, in which uh, way it is written so this poem is written in a bibliography right so let's discuss the poetic devices figure of speeches as well as um children i feel uh, i should give you ha huh, there is a child who is asking me the word re the re means ironically okay the re means ironically you can take it as a sarcastic uh, or you can take it uh, ironically means two two different situation that makes you uh, like one way you feel ease on the 
the other way you are feeling hard to remember it and to forget it so that is why the word to make the line interesting re word has been used it will be pronounced as re w r y will be pronounced as re in british english which means ironically right any other question i'll be happy to answer all your questions there is a word used terribly terribly here is used uh, like more very here it is used as very like wash their terrible ter transient feet the very the the printed transient feet right the word transient means unstable or it can be said momentary right so transient t r a n s i e n t transient which means unstable there is another word used paddling paddling means walk steadily so they have been walking on the seashore steadily and the then off uh, on and off they got a photo clicked by their uncle i think in today's session uh, this much will be enough i don't want to go with the poetic devices tomorrow we will discuss the poetic devices till then i request all of you to reread the poem and try to understand understand the summary i will come tomorrow with the same live class we will take your doubts as well as we will cover poetic devices and some of the question answers this is on the doubts and poetic devices even the question answers which we will discuss in tomorrow session we will give you assignments i hope all of you like the session and understood the poem well i again request all of you those who have uh, i think almost all the students have got books read the poem underline and understand rewatch this video as this online session will be saved for your reference please go through it one more time understand it write your doubts in your notebook tomorrow we'll come again we'll discuss we'll take your doubts and we'll continue this poem till then thank you so much for your time and i request those who are online right now please tell your other class students to come online and to join the classes so that you will get more clarity on the topics which we are going to discuss i hope you like the session till then take care of yourself stay, stay at home take healthy diet and take care of your family members thank you god bless you have a wonderful day ahead thank you